I really have been doing my match reactions in random places recently and this one in the car park of the pub the first day that the pubs are back open cheers to everyone and cheers to United 5-2 against Bournemouth three goals against Sheffield United three goals against Brighton and five against Bournemouth Mason Greenwood Marcus Rashford Anthony Martial Mason Greenwood with the second Bruno Fernandes with the fifth I'm drinking to that United at the moment are playing glorious attacking football and it's not just one individual that we're relying on it's goals left right and center that game there Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial now both have 20 goals for the season Mason Greenwood has scored the most goals in the Premier League since Wayne Rooney did back when he was a teenager United are just sexy going forward there's nothing else to say you could say the complete opposite for the defense in that game Harry Maguire and David De Gea for the first goal laughable Really, really laughable. A penalty for the second. We came out in that second half. Was it a penalty? A hit by in the shoulder? I don't really think it was. I'll be completely honest. But it was given. Then they nearly scored an equaliser. But it was ruled out for offside. And United came out in that second half really sloppy. But I am not focusing on the negatives in this game. Hell to the no. Three goals. As I said, what's that? 11 goals in our last three Premier League games. You know, And it's not just the goals, I suppose. Because United went 1-0 down there against Bournemouth and you're thinking oh shit decent goal by Stanislas but Maguire getting nutmeg David De Gea getting beaten at his near post it shouldn't have happened either of them really if I'm being completely honest but United in I suppose total control overall in the game because we came there we did the job and Aguiz is just deciding to park his transit van right in front of me that's good timing right he's nearly parked now let's move on but United scoring five goals and I'm repeating myself now because you get distractions like that. That's what happens when you record your match reactions in random places. So please drop a like on the video because this is semi-embarrassing. But you just can't knock United at the moment. It's, if it's not a clean 3-0 win against Sheffield United and Brighton that I suppose you would expect of United. It's coming from behind and just keeping going. Is it, we're seeing different attitudes and, and different aspects of the game that maybe we hadn't seen in a long time and you've got to be happy at that and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer deserves a lot of credit for it but Mason Greenwood he's the man we've got to talk about at 18 to be scoring not just scoring goals it's just every single type of goal he's got in his locker whether it's tappings because he's in the right place at the right time whether it's on his left foot because he's cut inside with a step over whether it's on his right foot finessing it into the other corner whether it's a left foot and he's pile driving it straight to the goalkeeper for an 18 year old to have so many different types of goals in his locker is not unprecedented but it's rare it's extremely extremely rare and anybody who watched mason greenwood throughout the academy years knew that he was an exciting talent but to see him have a progress at the speed that he is progressing with the quality and the variety of the goals that he is scoring it, he almost looks like the complete attacker at 18 in terms of where the weaknesses are in this game I suppose if you really want to look at the weaknesses maybe he's not scoring headers but Christ he's 18 he shouldn't be scoring this many goals and being this comfortable with playing football at the top level but he is and to have him there you know Dan James he's got his strengths but no way is he our starter and I, I said it towards you know for the first start the, the part of the season he should not have been starting every game but because we didn't have anybody else that Solskjaer trusted in that position, Dan James played a lot more games than he should have done. And Mason Greenwood, you know, you have to give, I think, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer credit for how he's managed Mason Greenwood. People wanted him to be thrown into the deep end a little bit earlier in his career, but he didn't. He sort of kept him to the side and he clearly has helped him get to this point at this stage. You know, Greenwood looks comfortable and ready for the top level at United. So have him and Martial and Rashford as our attackers is fucking exciting. And Bruno Fernandes with another two assists and a goal. Paul Popper, no one can even really talk about him in that game. Paul Popper. United just scored five without Paul Popper having a really having a, too much of an impact. And he played the full 90, I think. Hell yeah. This United team. Just cheers. <laughs> There's nothing else you can say. It, United, I knew that the, the break, and I'm sorry if you can hear the wind on the, on, the, on the microphone, I'm sorry about that, but I knew the break would do United well. I think I always felt that we were going to come back for the coronavirus, a stronger team. But to see what we're doing, that game against Spurs, 
we made a mistake in that for the goal for Bergvine's goal it was poor defending all round but we came back and I probably think we deserve to win that game 2-1 then we sh pumped Sheffield United then he had the Norwich game as well eight changes but we still gritted out a win from that then he had the Brighton game 3-0 then he had that game against Bournemouth five goals just the momentum is building in different ways it's not just three nil wins you know it's, it's it's turning a, a game there that, that could have gone against united and but instead of going one nil down to turning it into a problem for united we ended up winning five two and i'd rather win five two than three nil any day of the week so happy days and no doubt in my mind that mason greenwood is mad in the match there sorry about the random positions for the match reaction but at the moment i'm moving around a lot things are changing hopefully i'll be back in the normal place at some point soon but please drop a like on the video. Sorry if the microphone is affected by the wind. Who is your man of the match? For me, it's Mason Greenwood. And I think surely we all agree on that one. But bring on Chelsea in the FA Cup semi-final. And after that result, who wouldn't back United?